Parker, 2013. Parker, portrayed by Jason Statham, is a seasoned thief with a code. He avoids stealing from the less fortunate and harming innocent people. His mentor, Hurley, Nick Nolte, proposes a five-man job with an unfamiliar crew comprising Melander, Michael Chiklis, Carlson, Wendell Pierce, Ross, Clifton Collins Jr., and Hardwick, Micah Hopman. Despite the successful heist, Parker Box had a subsequent plan that promises millions, leading to the crew shooting him and leaving him for dead in a lake. Miraculously surviving, Parker is discovered by a compassionate family who takes him to a hospital. Seizing an opportunity, he incapacitates a male nurse, absconds with his uniform, and makes a daring escape. Resorting to robbing a check-cashing store for funds, Parker injures one proprietor and hijacks a woman's parked car. Determined to settle the score, Parker informs Hurley of his intention to pursue the betrayer, Melander, who has surfaced in Palm Beach, Florida, planning another heist. The crew learns of Parker's survival and enlists the help of a hitman named Kroll, Daniel Bernhard, to eliminate him. Kroll attempts to abduct Hurley's daughter and Parker's girlfriend, Claire, Emma Booth, who narrowly evades capture and seeks refuge at a fish camp. Despite Hurley's concern and suggestion that Parker flee with Claire, he remains steadfast in seeking revenge against Melander. Parker travels to Palm Beach and poses as a Texan named Daniel Parmet. Leslie Rogers, Jennifer Lopez, is a depressed, unsuccessful real estate agent living with her mother, Patty Lapone, and struggling financially after a divorce. She is thrilled when Parker, as Parmet, appears to become interested in her properties, because she is desperate for a commission. Leslie soon becomes suspicious when Parker only takes interest in a house that a man named Rodrigo is renting. In reality, Rodrigo is Melander, and is staying in this house with the crew in anticipation of a $50 million dollar jewelry auction from which they plan to steal jewels. Leslie becomes suspicious and eventually finds out that Daniel Parmet is a fake identity. She offers her knowledge of the area as help to Parker, if he will give her a commission. He considers it after making her strip to make sure she isn't wearing a wire. Together, they plan to steal the jewels from Melander after he robs them from the auction. Leslie kisses Parker, but he stops it from going any further. Before the auction, Melander's crew disguise themselves as movers to plan their heist. They soon learn that Parker is in Palm Beach and send Kroll to kill him. After a bloody fight, Kroll stabs Parker through the hand, but ends up falling from a balcony and dying. The next morning, Palm Beach Sheriff's Deputy Jake Fernandez, Bobby Cannavale, arrives with questions for Leslie about Daniel after learning that she was in business with him. She is shocked when she discovers a bloody Parker hiding in her house, and tells Jake that Daniel was a waste of her time. At her workplace, Leslie is horrified when she watches a video of Kroll's death online, which was filmed by local onlookers. When she gets back to her condo, Claire is there stitching up Parker's wounds. Leslie is hurt believing she had a chance to be with Parker romantically. Claire goes back into hiding at the fish camp. The crew successfully steal the jewels at the auction and swim back to their house, where a weak and injured Parker has already arrived. Worried that Parker might get hurt, Leslie makes her way to the house and begins snooping around the garden. She is found and taken inside, where the crew abuse and grill her with questions, assuming she is working with Parker. Melander finds Parker and a fight ensues. Carlson starts to molest Leslie, and she shoots him multiple times with a gun she noticed under the table. Parker had hidden the gun under the table earlier when he had broken into the house to sabotage the guns which Melander and his crew were using. Melander is eventually killed after Parker stabs and shoots him. All members of the crew end up dead. Parker and Leslie arrange for the jewels to be hidden and for her to receive her cut. She tells him that she never did have a chance to be with him, and they part ways. Six months later, Parker goes to Chicago and kills the Mafia boss who hired Kroll to kill him. A year later, Leslie receives a hefty box in the mail containing thousands of dollar bills. In the final scene before the credits, the tomato farmers who saved Parker's life are talking to somebody about how they got all this money that changed their lives, and they credit the stranger they rescued, who they think was an angel sent to test them. Melander and his crew enter the auction to set up speakers rigged with fireworks. Later, they enter as a fire team and steal the jewels, escaping by boat. Parker waits for them at their house. Earlier, he broke in and planted guns and damaged their weapons firing pins. 
When they return, he prepares to attack, but Leslie also arrives and is captured by Melander. With the help of one of his planted guns and the bent firing pins, Leslie and Parker manage to kill the entire crew. Parker gives Leslie the jewels for safekeeping and tells her he will find a way to fence them in the future. He subsequently kills Danzinger in Chicago, mails Leslie her cut a year and a half later, and sends money to the farmers who saved him. No, no, no.